Welcome back to the Spinning Planet video tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be adding some links within a page. Now these links are not to be confused with the site links which we've covered already. This is to the site links is really to do with your site navigation, um, either across the top or down the left of your of your site. But these are going to be the links actually within a page. So we're going to go in and edit our page and we're going to carry on working on the products page so you click the edit icon we're back in there and uh, adding links within a page is quite simple um, all we do is select a piece of text so I'll select this bit here and then I click the link icon so insert a link and then it just needs a link URL so here you could simply type in uh, the the link that you're after so something like HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google so you could type it in like that um, now this is an external link it's going out off our site and so the target um, I'd want it to open in a new window because that way my site will will stay open in their browser and Google when they click the link will open in a different uh, window or a different tab so I'm going to click here open a new window and I'm going to give it a title the title shows up uh, if they hover over the link and also Google will read uh, these things as well and so say um, put in here great search engine and that's pretty much all we need to do for creating a link so we'll insert that that link there will now go to Google if we click on it okay let's update our page and show you that it works so we click on this link here view our page there's our lorem ipsum that we've just done and it says great search engine and if I click it it opens a new tab with Google in it just what I wanted right now that I'm gonna go over that again because there's something I want you to understand about linking to internal uh, pages so say I want to link to the contact us page I'll first gonna go to the contact us page and I'm gonna select just this part of the URL uh, I don't need the whole URL because we're actually going to be linking to something on our own site so I'm selecting contact.php and then I go control C on my keyboard to copy that link and now I'm going to go back to our products page and edit okay now in here I'm going to go down the bottom uh, it won't let me go down the bottom here. I'll put it in here, um, and I'm going to type in contact us for pricing details. Okay, contact contact us for pricing details. Spell contact right that's better okay so now I want to contact us to be a, a link so I select that click the link button and I'm simply going to go control V and paste the URL section that I already had so contact.php it's going to open in the same window because it's just an internal link and I'll give it a contact us now and insert to contact us for pricing details so that's how we we would do it an internal link in fact for all links I, I prefer just to to simply copy and and paste in so that I'll make sure I've got the right URL in there because if I had uh, spaces in the wrong place um, or I mistyped it then that link won't work properly 
and uh, it'll just annoy people visiting my site. Okay, so here's another thing we might want to do with links. Let's say I want this image to be a clickable link. So I'll select the image by clicking on it. You see that it's selected there. And then I click the link button. And I'm going to link this one off to... Oh, let's just go to back to the contact us again. So there's the link. Um, and I'm going to call it buy now. Insert. And you'll notice that if you do an image as a link, it'll do a blue border around, kind of like it's underlining the blue link. And so I need to edit that image and just tell it to have no border. So click on the edit image button. The appearance border equals zero. And update. So it's got rid of the blue border, but it still is going to be a link for us. Okay, scroll down, update the page. Now I know this might be going really fast with all this, but remember at any stage in these tutorials you can simply pause and practice. And I encourage you to do that so that uh, you can, it's a way of getting over me talking too fast. Okay, so here's our links. We've got our contact us. Um, we've also got a link on here. It's coming up with the image description there, but if I click on it, it does take us to the contact us page. So there's a little way of doing it to um, get rid of the links. You simply select them and click the breaking link icon in the editor. And Google will love you having lots of links all over your page. It'll help your search engine ranking. So there we have uh, a simple way for making your websites become more alive by adding links in. Thanks for watching this Spinning Planet video tutorial and stay tuned for more episodes.